वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग मेकानिक्स वीडियो लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट सॉल्यूशन फॉर वन प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द काइनेटिक्स ऑफ रेक्टीलिनियर मोशन आई रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट टू ब्लॉक्स ऑफ मासेस एम वन एंड एम टू आर कनेक्टेड बाई ए फ्लेक्सिबल स्ट्रिंग बट इन एक्सटेंसिबल as shown in the figure assuming the coefficient of friction between the block m1 and the horizontal surface to be mu find the acceleration of the masses and tension in the string assume m1 equal to 10 kg m2 equal to 5 kg and mu equal to 0.25 for the given problem statement this is the problem figure block m1 is placed on the horizontal ground and m2 is suspended by means of a string and pulley these two blocks are connected by means of a string in this problem figure uh, we can assume when m2 is moving downward direction with acceleration small a m2 also moves uh, rightward direction with the same acceleration considering tensile force generated in the string we have to draw the separate free body diagram of m1 block and m2 block by following the direction of motion or acceleration of the moving bodies for the block m1 this is the free body diagram direction of motion is taking place right forward direction we can also say that it is the acceleration direction of block m1 inertia force m1a we have introduced in the free body diagram the direction of inertia force is opposite to the direction of motion or direction of acceleration at the contact surface coefficient of friction given so we have to introduce frictional force the direction of frictional force is also opposite to direction of motion in the string tension force will be generated we have introduced here is tension rightward direction weight of the force acting through the centroid of the given problem figure downward direction w1 equal to m1g at the contact normal reaction force we have introduced perpendicular to the contact surface capital r considering free body diagram of m1 block we have to write the equation of dynamic equilibrium along the direction of motion when we are writing the equation of dynamic equilibrium we have to follow direction of motion or direction of acceleration of the moving body if the force is directing along the direction of motion or acceleration direction that force considered as positive force so from this uh, free body diagram m1a inertia force directing opposite to the direction of motion direction of acceleration so m1a is negative tension force in the string is directing along the direction of motion or along the direction of acceleration so we have to consider tension t is positive frictional force directing opposite to the direction of motion of the block m1 or direction of acceleration so frictional force f is also negative by following this concept we can write the equation of dynamic equilibrium as follows t minus mu r minus m1 a equal 0 by following same free body diagram of block m1 when you apply equilibrium equation along perpendicular to the direction of motion we can get only two forces in the equilibrium equation one is a normal reaction force acting upward direction weight force acting downward direction 
we can get r minus w1 equal to 0 where w1 equal to f1 g r minus m1 g equal to 0 by following these two equations we are going to write third equation as follows t minus mu m1 g minus m1 a equal to 0 then we can write the free body diagram of block m2 this is the free body diagram of m2 block as it is moving downward direction we can consider acceleration direction is taking place downward direction opposite to acceleration direction we can consider inertia force direction which is directing upward direction it is taking place opposite to direction of motion weight force also directing downward direction along the direction of acceleration or direction of motion tension force acting opposite to the acceleration direction or direction of motion so tension force is negative inertia force is negative weight force is positive why because it is directing along the direction of motion when you apply equation of dynamic equilibrium along the direction of motion we can get the equation as follows as there is no force acting along the horizontal direction no equation can be generated along x direction or horizontal direction from the four and the three equations we are going to eliminate tension force t when you add these two equations t can be eliminated acceleration of the system a equal to g into m2 minus mu m1 divided by m1 plus m2 when you substitute this acceleration a value in any one of the above third or fourth equation we can get tension force in the string in terms of m1 and m2 we can get considering fourth equation we can estimate t as follows this is the final value of a string tension equal to m1 into m2 into g into 1 plus mu divided by m1 plus m2 according to given problem when you substitute m1 as 10 kg m2 as 5 kg mu as 0.25 we can get acceleration of the system is a equal to 1.635 meter per second square string tension t as 40.875 newton